hey, <laughs> can I interest you in some discontinued fragrances? <laughs> That's the good stuff. Yeah, you're gonna wanna see this. Oh, you do? You do want some discontinued fragrances? <laughs> Hey friends, Ash here. Welcome back to Extra Gen Sense. I just spit at you, sorry about that. Today we're talking about one of my favorite things of all time, technically two of my favorite things of all time, discontinued fragrances and clones of discontinued fragrances. Discontinued fragrances, let's go! So of course, uh, I collect discontinued fragrances. I really like it. It's got exclusivity built into it because they don't make them anymore. So when you're wearing it, nobody else is because they can't even buy the stuff. Most people don't know about them anyway. That's why they're discontinued, because nobody bought them to begin with. A lot of discontinued fragrances do, though, smell awesome. But then you run into that problem that they're very expensive. Enter clones of discontinued fragrances. So now you can smell like the discontinued scent, like a pro, but you don't pay very much. Also like a pro. So the one that we're talking about here today is from Fragrance World, and it's called Posh Omega. Posh Omega which is part of a, a line of fragrances that they have, a posh line. You would think that they would be like posh omega, alpha, beta, sigma. And they do actually have posh alpha, but then it's just kind of like other random ones like posh. Yeah, go figure. And then they also have posh mirage. So I, I don't know, but we're talking posh omega today. This one you can pick up for about 30 bucks from Triple Traders. Unfortunately, as of this video, I don't think it's available at any of the big discounters, but you can still find it at Triple T. <laughs> Triple T, it's like a, a Guy Fieri fragrance store. You can also use the code GENTSSENSE for 10% off at Triple Traders. That's actually where I got my bottle here. So that would take this one from 30 bucks down to 27. That's massive, three bucks. Think about what you can do with that. Average. So yeah, I got this one linked down there. Uh, use that code if you shop at Triple Traders. This one is a clone fragrance, as I said, of a discontinued scent from Jean-Paul Gaultier. Actually, in my opinion, a fantastic discontinued fragrance from Jean-Paul Gaultier, which is this one right here, Essence de Parfum. Look at that presentation, that bottle style. Looks pretty familiar, right? It looks a little bit like uh, Le Bola Parfum, only without the leaf on its uh, package. So I'm gonna break this one down for you a little bit, let you know how close this is to this and let you know if it's worth picking up as an alternative to Essence de Parfum. But the first thing we need to do, as always, is take a look at the presentation of Posh Omega. See what you're getting for your money. See right here, it just slips out like that. On the front, you have the name of the fragrance, name of the house size and concentration. Uh, this is an 80 milliliter size bottle, not 100 mils, so keep that in mind. Eau de Parfum concentration. It says uh, fragrance rolled up top. You've got your sticker on the back, your ingredients on the back as well. And on the bottom, you have your batch code printed in ink. So my bottle uh, was made 07-2022, and it says expires 07-2027. Then the box has the same info as the slip cover, only it's decked out in silver rather than black, and it says posh, 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 posh on the middle. <laughs> Other than that, same info. And here is your bottle. It's a, you know, pretty, pretty plain bottle, not too much going on there. You got Fragrance World on the front, Posh Omega on the front, little black design on the sides. On the bottom, you have a sticker, and uh, the cap says posh up top as well. And the cap slides into place. It does not click into place, but it's a decently snug fit. And then you have a little FW on top of the atomizer as well. All right, what do you say we go ahead and share a couple sprays? Here we go. Pretty good atomizer. And for posterity's sake, we'll go ahead and spray out a little bit of the essence, the parfum as well. Actually, the atomizer on Posh Omega is better. Now I would imagine that a lot of you watching this video right now may not even, you know, have been into fragrances or wearing fragrances when Essence de Parfum came out. Uh, it feels like not that long ago actually when it was launched, but it came out in 2016. So a decent amount of time at this point. And it feels frankly like a completely different time period because nowadays everything that Jean-Paul Gaultier comes out with in the Lamal line seems to be a hype beast. Le Mal Le Parfum, Le Mal Elixir, Le Beau, Le Beau Le Parfum. It's like everything they come out with, everyone is about. Everybody's buying it, everybody's wearing it, everybody's talking about it. But when Essence de Parfum came out with, it was met with a reaction that was kind of like this. <laughs> Essentially, people didn't really care. I know, it's kind of weird to think about now, but 
when this launched, it didn't really take the world by a storm. Now that's not to say everybody was hating on it or anything, it's just it didn't hit like their fragrances hit now. So this came out and it just kind of withered away and everybody forgot about it. And nowadays, it is decently expensive if you wanna pick a bottle of this up. On the low end, you're probably looking at like $150, something like that, and um, a bunch of people are gonna be asking two, $300 plus on eBay. Now, I'm not saying that people are paying $300 for this, $350 for this, although there is a sucker born every minute, but realistically, you're still gonna be looking at over $100, pretty easy if you wanna scoop one of these up. And the price is just going to increase, of course, as the supply of this dwindles over time. At 30 bucks, this is obviously a much more attractive proposition. That is assuming that it does a good job of emulating this guy right here. Now, if you have never smelled Lamal Essence de Parfum, let me break it down for you a little bit, let you know how this one does come across. It's a leather fragrance, first and foremost. It's been compared to the smell of C.H. Prevé from Carolina Herrera a little bit. Uh, does it smell uh, directly the same as Prevé? No, it doesn't. But it's one of those uh, types of scents. And by that, I mean it's a leather fragrance. It has a really nice underlying sweetness to it, warm spices as well. Really sexy, a compliment puller, great for an evening out. It makes use of vanilla, of tonka, of cinnamon, and cardamom to kind of help take any edge off of that leather. So while it is, as I said a couple times, a leather forward fragrance, it's everything else that supports it and gives depth to the scent that really makes it what it is. You do have a little touch of lavender in there, which is going to help tie it in with the overall uh, feeling of the Lamal line. That being said, this doesn't really smell like the original Lamal. So it's not super close to that one. This is kind of doing its own thing in the Lamal line. That being said, it smells very, very good. Essence de Parfum is to me one of the most underrated fragrances Jean Paul Gaultier has put out. It gets the job done, it smells fantastic, it's great for fall and winter, it's a compliment puller, has a great perfumer behind it in Quentin Bish. It just didn't take off. It's just one of those things that happens sometimes. But really underrated. It's one of those deals where if you know, you know, but it came and went so quickly that a lot of people just completely overlooked it. So how does Posh Omega? Is it actually close to this? Well, in a word, oh, oh freak, yeah, yeah it is. <laughs> Spray this on, it is goofy close. It is stupid. You put these up next to each other, yeah, it is real, 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 real close. And if you worry about a drop off in performance or something, you don't have to worry about that either because Posh Omega, just as good as far as projection longevity as Essence to Parfum. So yeah, off to a good start. So let's go ahead and just, the leather comes through about equally off the top in each one of these. Initially, I felt like there was a little more of a, uh, a leather forward leaning to Posh Omega and then like a little more sweetness maybe over here in Essence to Parfum. But that's really just in the first couple minutes. Uh, it seems like, again, there's just a little more sweetness over here but very, very, very quickly. I mean, realistically, before you even go out of the room that you're in after you spray it on, they start to become about equal as far as how everything comes across, how everything is balanced. That cardamom comes out very nicely in Posh Omega. Sweet, sexy, inviting, just like it does in Essence de Parfum. The leather is really smooth here, not aggressive, very easy wearing. And really, the main difference between the two is for me, as it heads through the mid, Posh Omega takes on a little bit of a sweeter kind of lavender than Essence de Parfum. So Essence de Parfum actually into the mid leans a little bit more into the leather. Posh Omega still has that leather and still has the spices and the warmth and everything, but it has a sweeter take on the lavender, which pops out a little bit more than it does in Essence de Parfum. Past that though, they are really close to the point that in the air, you're not gonna be able to tell too much of a difference at all. And um, realistically, nobody's gonna know what either of these are anyway, because they're not fragrances that are being worn heavily by a lot of the public. You know, again, you're talking a discontinued scent here, and even the fragrance that it's been compared to, which it's not super close to, but Carolina Herrera C.H. Prevé, nobody can really find that anymore. Uh, certainly not easily. So nobody's wearing that either. So whichever way you go, you're wearing something here nobody else really is smelling like, which is, again, one of the reasons I like discontinued scents. And this stuff still smells 
awesome. This is such a good cold weather scent. It's great for a date night. It's great for an evening out. If you want something, again, sweet, sexy, inviting, magnetic, alluring, with a very smooth leather that goes over top. And it really does boil down that simply between how this smells versus this. In the opening, for the first couple minutes, the leather is gonna come across a little stronger in Omega. And then after two minutes, settles in really similarly with the spices, the warmth, everything I talked about, the sweetness. And then as you head through the mid, the leather is a little bit more in the foreground in Essence de Parfum and Posh Omega. It's slightly dialed back and then the lavender brought up a little bit. As you head into the dry down, vanilla comes out, tonka, some amber woodiness. So you kind of know what you're in for there. You know, additional sweetness coming from those notes, helping shore up and give a little more boost, a little more life to that leather as it dries down. Without a doubt, Posh Omega is a fantastic clone of Essence de Parfum. For 30 bucks, it gets you extremely close. I mean, about as close as you could realistically hope to get without just having the original. I think it's a fantastic clone, extremely well done, and I wanna see more of this. I want to see more clones of fragrances that you can't really get anymore that still work. Now, of course, there's a lot of discontinued scents that realistically, would be very hard to pull off that people don't really, you know, jive with that are hard to wear, you know. Uh, no offense to this scent because I think it's actually extremely well done and a very good scent, but Gucci Guilty Absolute. A lot of people, you know, they wouldn't go for it. If you're honest with yourself, an average person is not gonna be able to really wear that in many situations, many places, and feel confident. If you come out with a clone of that, while somebody like me or a lot of you uh, maybe like, oh yeah, that's awesome, smells great. You know, an average person again is, is not gonna want that. But this, the way this smells, this works. This works easily. It smells classy, sexy, all the things <laughs> that I've talked about, all the things. And so bringing that back makes sense. I like that, that that's cool. Presentation's boring, but the scent itself, really nice. So if you've been looking for an alternative to this one, if you used to like it, if you owned it or something like that, you want an alternative, this is what you want. If you just think that the idea of it sounds good, I think it's a great buy at under 30 bucks, well, right at 30 bucks. And uh, the performance is nice, the quality is nice, a lot to like there. Or again, alternatively, CH Preve. If you want something kind of in that style, you can check this out as well. Fall, winter time for the evening, Posh Omega is gonna have you smelling fantastic just like Essence de Parfum. Such a bummer that this really got no love because I can tell you, if you could still easily find this, I would be talking about this with some regularity. I mean, I used a pretty good amount of it and with how much I own, how much crap I own, that's saying something. Color has changed over, over time, but it still smells good. There we go, Posh Omega, Essence de Parfum. These two, really close. This is not one of those times where you have a clone fragrance where you say, oh, it's 60%, 70%. Nah, this is like 90% Essence de Parfum. All right, guys, that'll do it for me. Thank you for hanging with me. Stay safe out there. I'll see you guys again with another video another day. See you guys.